Our existing lighting was LED, so we, we didn't think actually there was uh, much savings to be made, but what we were having, we were having failures with the product, and so it meant every couple of months we had to have a cherry lift in to uh, replace bulbs, and it was getting quite expensive for doing that. What had happened was they put in new racking, and that, that of course meant that some of the lights weren't in the right position anyway. So uh, I changed those, and I've put in extended cables and put them on different purlins and uh, that's made a lot of difference as well so the lights are in the right place as well as, as well as being brighter. The high bays they had were cob lights now that means that the LEDs are all concentrated in a very small area something like that and um, that means that there's very poor heat dissipation and they don't last very long at all two three years. When Paul came in, he actually suggested that we went to one of his, uh, his warehouse lights, high bay lights, um, which would actually save us uh, energy, which I uh, didn't think was possible because we already had LEDs in. I've uh, reduced the number of lights in this warehouse. I think we got to 22 and we've reduced it to 17. And we're using 150 watt instead of 200 watts that was in here before. A very significant energy saving. Yeah, we were expecting a payback, um, I think, of around four years. So we should see around a, a £1,500 to £2,000 saving through these lights alone. Um, Paul and the team were great through installation. Um, they sat down with myself and my ops manager and worked, worked through with what, we, what we, we could and couldn't do within the warehouse. Obviously, we're an operating warehouse. Um, and uh, yeah, we, in a couple of days, uh, changed all the warehousing and uh, um, office lights. Absolutely seamless from my perspective. Um, didn't cause any business impact.